Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy that fat, and we have another mix and match video. Now I thought it was going to be two of these, but now we have a third. So I've got three of the Dungeon Dragons Wizkid Guildmasters Guide to Ravnica uh, booster boxes. So these include three miniatures and one large. The smaller ones can be small to medium, and a large one can be large and huge. Now I have an interesting array here. This one is really light. This one is a little bit heavier. This one is a unit in comparison. So I'm going to do those three separately. And we also have my get graded return. Now I've, I can't stress enough how amazing get graded now are. They had a bad slack under the old management and they've got a new management now. And they are fantastic. So if you saw the previous video, I got a booster box, a booster pack, the first edition Fossil Zapdos pack that came back heavy and it come back a nine. Um, and because there was a delay, it should be two to three weeks for booster packs and single cards should be six to eight weeks. Um, they said, because there's a delay, we will give you a free submission. So I sent in a card and within a week, they'd sent me back my card. So the communication is amazing. It's just annoying that um, their old management sort of run them down. They, they have a really bad name currently, but the people that run it now are amazing. So they sent me this, the box straight off the bat, I've already had to open to make sure it's not up the, right, the wrong way. So I see the graded card first, but the box is amazing. It's nice and embossed here. It looks really professional. Uh, this is a thinner box to the one they sent out before. Um, but when you open it, I've had the same sort of thing as last time. It's all bubble wrapped in here, lovely. Obviously we've got our card, which I will leave there. They always give you your get graded card, which means you can just scan it and it, I presume it will show you why they were graded that way. I'm not entirely sure. It'll take you to the website and you always get your Haribo. I thought this was just a thing to say thank you, but it looks like you always get Haribo. So I'm just going to leave it over there. So this is, in fact... My Mewtwo Reverse Hollow from Legendary Collection. Now this thing is gorgeous. And the unfortunate thing about this is when I bought it, um, it looked, as you can see, it actually looks really clean. But there's a massive dent there. There's dents here. And this wasn't on the image when I bought it. So I actually got some money back for this and then a free submission. So that was really, really good. Um... I think this is going to be about a four. The the three massive creases are a massive downgrade, but the centering and the corners are really, really good. So they all come with the same label, unlike... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, so unlike ace grading. So surfaces with 3.5. Oh, that's just depressing. Uh, the corners were a 6.5, which... I'm looking at the corners. They look... Pretty good to me. Obviously, there's some massive edge wear there. Oh, yeah, the corner up here is dented. So the corner, 3.5 seems a little bit... Oh, no, 6.5. Yeah, okay, that seems about right. Edges, okay. Centering was a 9.5, so that was a really good centering. I think you could probably tell what the average is on this one, but I reckon it's going to be... It was, I, I read it either at about a 4. There we go. So I knew exactly what it was going to be. Um, I can't complain for a free submission. Um, it's just the creases, which is a little bit of a downer, but they come in this, um, plastic sleeve, so it's not going to be dented in transit. Um, if you take out that one, it's not bad. It's just that. It's really depressing. But that's not bad. Uh, a little four on that one. It's a, it's a spare slab that I got for free, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, but now we're going to get into the boxes. Okay, so we're starting with box number one. Now, this is the lightest of the boxes, so I'm a little bit concerned it's not going to be any of these really nice ones. Um, this is the, the big one we're going for. This is a huge one. It's almost the size of the box. I'm hoping in the heavy box we have over there, we will get something nice. So I've opened up two of these before, and one of them was okay, and the other one was really good. So on the bottom here should be one mini. Oh, we've got one, two. I don't want to see the large... Uh, Three and the larges in there, so we'll start with whatever this one is. This is oh okay, I thought it was gonna be the mage, but this one looks like it is the Yeah, the, the sledgehammer woman, uh the arrester. Oh yes, this is like the police woman of the um 
D&D world, this, I believe, is actually a uncommon. And this isn't too bad. Um, Paint-wise, pretty decent. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to help, is it? Yeah, this actually might help. Um, paint on the face isn't brilliant. But for a starter one, that's not too bad. can be a very uh, nice NPC. So that's a pretty decent start. We have... Okay, now I think... Yes, I was... Okay, I'm very happy to obtain this one. This is the... Like, almost like the... Um, the organs of a man. The veins and whatnot. It's called a blister coil weird. So this is like... Some sort of a jelly... Geezer with some blood going through him. This is a really nice mini. Um, the translucent stuff just makes it look a lot more, you know, rarer than it actually is. This is a common, but the paintwork on this one's amazing. This is a really, really nice start. This is definitely a um, an enemy you can throw into your storyline. So not too bad so far. We've oh, okay. I think this is the vampire. I hope. Yes, it is the mind drinking vampire. Now, this card is going to be useful. This thing is gorgeous. Um, the ones you get on this like plastic stilt to make it look like it's floating or flying or moving, they always look so much cooler. And in comparison to a normal size one, this is like almost you know 1.5 times the height. So this is a really really good start. And for this being a common, the paintwork on this. Is immaculate. You can see the face here. Look at that. The eyebrows a little bit droopy, but apart from that, this is really, really good. Um, there is no other marks on this uh, that are off, but this is amazing. I wanted this one. Um, definitely going to be able to find a use for the vampire. So that's that's fantastic. It's a really, really good start. And the large we got for this is please don't be bad. Oh, okay. Considering this was a lighter box, I was worried. Okay, so he doesn't want to come out of me. There we go. I was worried we were going to get something really bad. But this is a brilliant one. Look at this monstrosity. The Gruul Ogre, or the Grull Ogre. This is a unit. Look at this thing. The paint is amazing, part of this little splotch here, which I think can probably come off. This thing looks awesome. I mean, it's not... A lot bigger than the actually not a matter of fact it's the same height as the normal minis but this is a really good one um, they always put their most effort into the larger ones that's the whole setting point of these um, again it, it's it's a nice it's a nice large um, you can use it for any sort of ogre it's almost got horns for the hair there this thing is beautiful um, it's just a shame that when you get a box like this you know you want a giant a large figure, not one that's going to actually be lower than the standard one you got. So, for the first box, the weird, the vampire, the policewoman, and on top of that, the ogre. This card is coming helpful. This is a really, really good start. Okay, we're on to box number two. This is the medium-sized one, weighted. This one's very heavy. So if that was the small, that was light, I'm very happy with that. Everything there I can use and will use in my uh, Dungeons & Dragons stories. So the last two boxes I opened, um, I got a giant, which was the big metal armoured one. And I also got um, the guardian that was on like the dire wolf. So that was a little bit of a, of a letdown. I got I got four minis that were a bit meh. And I got a large of a meh. So I've actually put that up for sale. But here we go, so this is box number two. To start with on the minis we have, ooh, I think this is like the tree woman warrior type thing. It is indeed, this is the druid. This is really nice, wow. The paint on these ones actually really, really good. No splodges on this. This is a sick looking mini. Um, with the big axe here, it is bendy, but it's not actually bent, which is nice. The back there, the green armor that looks like leaves and stuff on a hilt. This is a brilliant looking mini. This is a common. With the big silver helmet and the big silver shoulder plates. This is a really, really nice looking one. Okay, we're getting really lucky on um, 
on these boxes. So the second mini, oh, that is a shame. Um, we pulled this one in the last box. I mean, if you're going to pull a mini, this is one, like, uh, a duplicate mini. This is one you want. So we've now got two of the Druid of the Old Ways. This is an uncommon. Again, it's like the Vampire, very tall. Um, the ones that have this plastic kilt on there, really, really nice. So I can definitely implement two of these. I'll just make them come in pairs or make them NPCs. So this is really, really nice. The paintwork on this is immaculate. The bigger the mini, the better the paintwork most of the time. So, I mean, it's a really nice one. If I'm going to get a duplicate, I'd rather have that. And the third one is, oh, no way. It's like the, the thing, swamp thing. This is the, the fungus drudge. This thing is ugly. It is essentially just a ball of, well, fungus. It looks like the flood from Halo 3 almost. Um, yeah, this thing is ugly. Paintwork is really good. The brown's in there. I presume this is some sort of skull tilted to the side. Again, a really nice mini. Um, another common on here, but this is really nice. So we've got three really good small ones from this one. And the big one of the medium sized is... Oh! Okay. Now we're talking. This is basically Bane. Look at this thing. What an absolute unit. This is an ogre. So we've actually got the Gruul ogre and the Rakdos ogre. As you see, they're similar size, but this one is massive in comparison uh, width ways. Look at this. This is like a mix between Bane and Harley Quinn. I love this one so much. The big chains that go around it. Oh my god, yes. I will definitely be able to use this. So I've actually got um, oh, the two ogres and the giant. The only downside on this is where the glue would have been around the feet is really prominent. But I always do the bases up to have like sand on them anyway. So this will, this will disappear. But look at this thing. The immense detail, even to the point... I mean, I don't think it's supposed to be a bloody nipple, but if you've got chains hanging out your nipples that would be bleeding, even to the muscles on the arm there, this thing is beautiful. I'm so glad I'm getting some nice minis here, uh, especially the larger ones, because I can definitely implement these. And you can see by the bases how much of a threat they are going to be when you place them into your story. So I'm super psyched about that one. Okay, so I'm hoping these two haven't taken my luck, because these boxes have been really, really good, like stuff that I would definitely keep. This is the heavy one. This is the heavy one. We'll do this one at a time. So this is the first mini. Oh, off the bat. This is definitely an uncommon. It's the flying insect looking thing. This is the winged warrior. Look at this thing. Hell yeah. So this has got another translucent piece of the wings here, the green. Looks a little bit more blue on the camera, but this is green. It's got this nice big spear. Um, I've been using a lot of bugs and whatnot in my stories anyway, so having what is essentially a flying, almost like praying mantis ant looking thing into my story is going to be brilliant. The, the spear looks really good. The face on that isn't too bad either. The paintwork on this lot has been really, really good. That is amazing. Um... Wow, we're getting super lucky with these, these minis right now. So that's a really, really good start. Uh, I don't think we've pulled a rare mini just yet. Oh, we got the little lasher or whatever it's called. The little, um, oh, the cat cackler, I think it's called. Yes, the cackler. Now, this is a small in comparison to a medium mini. So you can get, technically, you can get three small ones. But the Cackler is cool looking. It's like um, the Goblin Warlord that is in this set as well. Uh, his teeth are a little bit off on this one. But this is really cool. Uh, I feel like it's just going to go well with the massive chained ogre. Now you can see the size comparison there. That's really nice. Um, I like having enemies over the NPCs out of these boxes. Whoa, what happened to the... There we go. So yeah, that is a really nice one. And then we should have one more small one in here. And this is... 
Oh, okay, this can be a really cool NPC. So this is Fire Fist. Size of this guy. So this is essentially just a knight with a big fire sword. Um, big puffy shoulders. Really nice. The face is a little bit off. Um, his eyes are like on his helmet. You can see where it's supposed to be though. Um, I feel like I might just paint over that in like silver or gold, just so it looks like a uh, Hell Knight or something. But this is really cool. Um, I'm not sure if the black wear is supposed to be like on this on purpose, but if it's not, this looks really cool because it almost looks like it's battle damaged armor. But this is a really nice one as well. So I think we've had all commons on the small ones, but um, the odd uncommon. So that's a that's a common. That's a common. She's an uncommon. Uh, the arrester. Uh, common on that one. Possibly no. That's a common as well. So we've had. Oh, that's an uncommon. Okay, so we haven't had a rare small one, but we're into the main event, which is the big one, and this is. Please be a big one. Oh! oh, oh, yes. Oh my god, look at the size of this thing. I don't even know how to get him out. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. We... I don't want to break him. Please just come out nicely. Here we go. Here we go. We're talking about giant ones and we finally have one. Um, His foot is off the peg here. But that can be glued back in. Look at the size of this thing. Okay, so in comparison to the ogre. See why I wanted a huge one? This is considered, I think, considered a huge. Here we go in comparison to this one. Almost double the size. You can fit two of them up there almost. This thing is gorgeous. Now this is the, uh, the Crassus. It's considered a large, but this is definitely not. This is a huge in my eyes. This thing is so sick. I can't even cover him enough. Um, the big bloated neck there, the shoulder pieces, paint's a little bit dodgy here, but this looks really, really cool. It's almost like a lizard crocodile. Um, oh, so we've actually got 26, 27, and then this should be 28. Yep, so these are all the common larges, but for this to be a common is crazy. Again, it's got that piece in there, which signifies it's going to be a heavier mould. Apart from the foot that is coming off here, again, I can glue that in. No worries. It might actually just clip in, but this looks so sick. It is actually, yeah, it's it's almost, it's the size of my palm, which, uh, I don't know. I'm very, very, very happy with all this. This just looks amazing. Um, so a little recap for the larges here. We've got the Gruel Ogre, which I can definitely use. Um, doesn't have to be specific to that ogre. We then got the Rakdos ogre, which is the bane of the of the Dungeon and Dragons world, which looks amazing. We got the Crassus, the Mahusive Behemoth lizard creature. Uh, we got Dracula. They got the vampire in here. We got some cool NPCs, some armored characters, another armored one, some fungal looking enemies here uh, we got our only duplicate which is a nice big one and then two more creatures so i hope you guys enjoyed um i might have to get some more of these hope you enjoyed see you next time